Slack attack. Well, yeah, hey, how y'all doing? Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more dying late. Let's get the hell out of school because bombers and Rice's men are going to spawn here again. Especially a bomber is going to come running up and corner us, and then we're going to be dead. Dead, dead. Okay, I'm route. Little cutscene here. Hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and it's raining. Zombies. <laughs> I'm gonna hunker down here. Jade's gonna contact us momentarily. Here, Jade. Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any Antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. We are waiting for you. Yes, hurry up! You're putting us behind schedule. Okay, and that's it for the story, Shmori. Let's get down to business. First of all, this is the gassed up run. Let's look up that mission right now, gassed up. This is the long run, all right? And all these objectives are right in the area we are in now, so we might as well take care of them, all right? And we're gonna take care of a couple of three other things as we go along the way. I got this whole list on my laptop here, like a list of a dozen items long, this list. So that's the first thing we're gonna do, but actually before that, we got a garden sickle. If you get one of these things, hang on to it, mod it, and um, yeah. These things are like the cricket bats of sharp weapons. They have a fantastic range, and they will frequently behead the zombies, okay? Frequently. And that's not even with a power attack, okay? Just That's just with a regular attack. So these things don't underestimate them. So I'm going to mod this guy. Uh, the only thing I can mod it is with the uh, low grade any melee, any melee weapon mods. Like uh, that's a bleeding mod, fire mod, uh, impact, electricity, and toxic. Let's give it either a toxic, which will put the least um, pressure on our crafting parts or hellfire. Let's give it hellfire. That'll be the most useful, I think. Okay, and I think it's worth a couple of upgrades too. Even though it's only a blue, I think it's worth a couple of upgrades because that'll bump up the damage to 127 if we give it both these upgrades. Okay, the champion and the mercenary. Okay, both of them give a bonus to damage, right? So, you get some upgrades. Oh boy, I get some upgrades. Yeah, that's right. Give it a champion upgrade and the mercenary upgrade. So there you go, there's our new garden sickle, 127 damage, 50 durability, 112 um, handling. This pretty much, you know, outclasses the police baton. I'm gonna hang on to that just for as a backup. I'm gonna store it once we get to the, uh, the stash. All right, so first thing on the agenda is this guy right here. Open the valve underneath the overpass. Let's go there now. And there's a bomber in the area. I'm gonna take care of him first. Here he is right over there. Don't get taken by surprise by him. See, that's pretty much the range of the throwing stars. Over here, buddy. <laughs> This way. Atta boy. Yeah, Slack is in the house. It's out. Dude. Yeah. Tell your friends. Sometimes another bomber spawns. It takes you by surprise. It comes like waddling over here from that direction. Not this time. Okay, so the game owes me a couple more virals. Gotta watch out for that. Red chest there. Gotta remember that. There's a toad. You get some, here come the virals. Don't fall down. 
or if you fall down, die. And oh, yay! I get him. I actually got him. Let's get some fumble fingers in effect there. Get out. And okay, so just learn something. You can't do a drop attack when they're on the ground when they're prone. What? Everyone comes over here? Just die already! There we go. There we go, that's some good drop attacking. Okay, and the light is kind of poor here. You know what I want to do? I know this is kind of weird, but... Uh, Let's use uh, some night vision boosters because it's early in the morning. And off with your head. Yeah, that's the stuff. Get some. Yeah. See that? That's not even a power attack. What does it matter? You fall down and go boom? Who's not dead here? Okay, one more guy. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Here's the valve. Crank that sucker open. And sorry, that's the valve underneath the overpass, not the train bridge. What did I call it before? Train bridge, overpass. Anyways, that's the overpass valve. All right, picking it up here, boss. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Hey, all you hardcore slackers! I'm slipping this message in the into the middle of this video for security reasons. The bottom line is only those who truly support my channel will be watching this far into the video, right? <laughs> All right, let's talk about Friday night. As many of you know, episode 35 of my Dying Light walkthrough uploaded Friday evening was the victim of a massive 4chan spam attack. For those who don't know, 4chan.org is a scumbag, troller trash, internet brat, anonymous forum responsible for a host of nefarious activities over the past decade. You can read all about 4chan on the Wikipedia page. There is a Wikipedia page on 4chan, all right, if you want to read up about that. Now, on Friday night, somebody perpetrated a 4chan raid. Okay, this is known as a 4chan raid on Major Slack Attack. They posted, this was the work of some, you know, disgruntled hater, you know. And what they did was they posted a porn pic accompanied with a hate message which urged everybody to flood episode 35 with thumbs down and to post derisive comments and to promote the Rad Brad. Now just to clarify, the Rad Brad had absolutely nothing to do with this, okay? So don't go hating on him, okay? He had nothing to do with this. Um, for this reason, ratings were hidden on episode 35 to take that satisfaction away from the Fortran 4chan spam drones and then by confronting all the trolls who started filling up the comments thread I was able to track down the hate thread on 4chan to see exactly how this spam attack was perpetrated. Uh, my wife and I actually saw the 4chan thread that was responsible for the spam attack before it was deleted by 4chan moderators because after all this is strictly against the 4chan terms of service. This is actually against their terms of service. They don't they don't want this kind of activity on their site. It's written right into the rules, rule number four on their rules page, all right? Um, I wanna thank everybody who came to my defense against all the trolls who flooded the comments thread in episode 35. Thank you very much. It was indeed an all out war. <laughs> However, um, we can't do that every time. 
as it's going to ruin the great community we have going here. As Jill Gibson said, fighting sucks. And we do have a great community. So much so that we frequently see comments from outsiders wondering why the conversations here are so much more friendlier and more <clears throat> mature <laughs> than anywhere else on YouTube. Yeah, that's right, I said mature. Eh? Okay, so we get a little goofy sometimes, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, I love this community and I thank one and all for contributing and helping to build it. The conversations are really great fun, especially from the honorary title holders. Um, all the goofy and funny repartee and idle chit chat is fantastic. And just for the record, I'm perfectly fine with off topic chit chat. The comments do not necessarily have to be about gaming or even about the video. I'm fine with that. And I still read all comments, although I don't necessarily have time to reply. Now, I like to protect this community. For this reason, I have created a special Google Plus circle called Hardcore Slacker. Some of you may, been may have noticed that you've been added to the Hardcore Slacker circle last night. Uh, everybody from the honorary titles list was automatically added to this Hardcore Slacker circle. Uh, Reich58, if you're out there, I couldn't find a recent comment by you, so if you could post a comment, I appreciate that, and I'll use the link on that to add you to the Hardcore Slacker circle, because I really like to add you to the circle. Um, along with all the honorary title holders, many others were added to the Hardcore Slacker circle. This took about three hours last night of carefully sifting through all the recent comments on my videos. Yeah, it's a painstaking process. Um, any and everybody whom I readily recognized as a major Slack supporter was added to the Hardcore Slacker circle. We now have 50 members in this circle, okay? But I'd like to see this number grow to about a couple hundred, okay? I would love to see that, but that will take time. Um, all Hardcore Slackers are automatically approved to post comments on all my videos, past, present, and future. In the event that there is another 4chan raid, the affected video settings will be set to allow only hardcore slackers to post comments, okay? Once again, the affected video settings will be set to allow only hardcore slackers to post comments. And once again, the ratings will be hidden. So basically, I will immediately be taking away everything from these motherfuckers, pardon my French, so that they will get no satisfaction out of their little infantile cyber terrorism shit. And at the same time, the core community here at Major Slack Attack can still post comments on the video without having to elbow past a platoon of troller trash scumbags. All right. Once again, this will only happen in the event of another 4chan raid and only for that video. By default, don't worry, okay, by default, all my videos, all, all videos I upload will be set so that everybody can post comments, okay? Everything will continue as normal. The Hardcore Slacker Circle was created only for special emergency measures, all right? Now, how do you become a Hardcore Slacker? It's easy. Watch my videos, thumbs up my videos, and post comments on a regular basis. And most importantly, you have to let me see this activity on your YouTube channel accumulating, okay? That's exactly how many of you made the Hardcore Slackers list. I went to your channel and I saw many of my videos listed as liked in your activities list. So you'll have to change your YouTube settings to make your activity public so that I can verify you as a Hardcore Slacker, all right? By the way, rapidly loading all 1,000 of my videos in the space of a few hours just to give them a thumbs up is not going to do it, all right? So don't come to me and say, hey, Slack, I just loaded all 1,000 of your videos and gave them all a thumbs up. Will you, make me a hard, will you make me a hardcore slacker? No, I will not. I need to see normal interaction with my videos, okay, on a regular basis. You know, not necessarily every day, but, you know, I need to see it accumulating normally on your channel in order to deem you as trustworthy, okay? Because basically, I'm gonna be letting you into a inner circle of friendly supporters, all right? I don't want any imposters coming in here, okay? So that's the way you do it. So that's it, once again, uh, regularly, post, uh, regularly post comments, regularly interact with my videos, and be friendly, and I will eventually add you to the Hardcore Slackers circle, okay? So uh, once again, all my videos will be set by default to allow all users to post comments. Only videos that come under attack will be set to allow hardcore slackers only to post comments. 
And uh, let's try to keep this on the QT. Not that I really expect this to remain secret, but as the saying goes, loose lips sink ships, okay? That's it, thank you for your attention. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Right about there. Who's your daddy? Give me an upgrade, huh? Can take that. Uh, I believe the crude pick is the cheapest thing I got on board, so dismantle that, take this on board, and we're styling. Loot packages over here. We're done. Next on the list. Open the valve underneath the overpass. Did that. Go to the safe house. Talk to Tolga and fit in. Can do. Safe house is right there. And there's nothing uh, in it for us to engage these guys. Let's just run by them. We're right up here. You can jump spam your way up here. Get on top of the bus to get your bearings. Look for the ramp. There's the ramp. Up you go, and into the safe house. Okay, fair warning, lots of stories this morning, all right? Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes, how did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. No, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. Well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up and be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. Yeah, if I had a rocket launcher. <laughs> a couple of sons of bitches would die. Okay, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna interrupt our... When we go over to talk to that guy, they're gonna start babbling away again. Aren't you? Ah, See? I knew we it. have employed a gorilla to do a chimp's job. Do you mean an orangutan's job? What are you saying? But do you think Dr. Zeus is smarter than Cornelius? <laughs> well, yes, obviously. Orangutans were the smartest. Cornelius didn't even have a PhD. Ah, but he knew the truth of ape origin. So did Dr. Zeus, but he knew that the knowledge was useless. Your knowledge is useless. Oh, one day I will kill you. All right, thank you very much, Techland, for making that dialogue unskippable. <laughs> okay, Kurt, what you got to say? Hey, you been looking for a runner? Did you think he oh, was for fuck's sake! They're still yes, talking. Instead of no, Jafar can fill you in. Limited. Yes, that would explain it. Damn! I find a rocket launcher. Boom, boom. Fuck this quest. <laughs> Part of my language. Okay, here we go. Hey, you want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Coming down will work. Yeah, coming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it, UV flares, continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine, it's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. Except everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh! Is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last 10 seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. 
Oh, the, oh, that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way! You're freaking nuts, bro! Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Alright, a couple of new quests we've taken on here. On the Hooks, which is the one we just took uh, from those two babbling idiots there. And this one, it should show up in the list in a second or so. Alright. We'll let the game take its time on that. Let's go talk to Jafar while that's it. This w Firebug. This should be called Firebug. There it is. Finally showed up. Take your time there, eh, game? Okay. Shit, it's you again? I mean, uh, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one time job and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site, and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch. You done? Okay. <laughs> and this one is Steal from a Thief. There it is right there. Okay, so we got all these new side quests. We'll take care of them later. For now, let's get down to the safe house and take care of business. I mean, we are at a safe house, but there's no store here, so we'll have to go down to this safe house here. The bizarre safe house. First thing, let's go to the stash. Get organized. Police baton we're keeping for a backup, uh, keeping that, selling that, storing that, storing the shrapnel grenades, storing the night vision boosters for now, although we are going to need them later. And let's take out, say, the short gator knife, leave the hewing axiom for now, and take out the stamina boosters, whoops, and the conducting, conducting liquid. There we go. Alright, so that's our baby. This we're going to mod. Let's give it the electric cutter. No upgrades though. Because we don't have any, but we're just going to use that for a little bit of face cooking um, as we're out in the field taking care of business. So that is that. Let's go sell. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> keeping that, keeping that. Sell, 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 sell. Sell all the valuables. Nothing here I want to buy. Leave the nails, buy everything else. And we're done. Next, on my list, uh, go to the safe house, talk to Tolga and Fatim, we did that. Talk to Kurt, did that. Talk to Zayed, did that. Talk to Jafar, did that. Uh, sell everything, including the cricket bat. I forgot to sell the cricket bat. I don't need that anymore. It's been upstage. Where's the cricket bat? No, not the cricket bat, Slack. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The garden sickle is way better. See? 127, 79. Yeah, so no. You can sell that. We're done. Two, three. Get some.